we need to talk. We need to talk. Something just happened. I was outside in a public area. You know, there were going to be people walking around. I don't think I own the space. Um, but I was trying to film. And there was a man who started out, I thought he was just being funny. And then it started to feel antagonizing. And then he full on started to harass me. It's, it's all there. Uh, I wasn't going to leave it in. So there are big parts of the video where I'm explaining like, this just happened. I haven't done any editing on the video just yet, but um, from, the, from there to the drive home, I started thinking it was important to leave it in. Trigger warning, if you get uncomfortable by um, confrontations or um, arguments, uh, you wanna skip ahead. I'll try to remember to put the timestamp below, okay? Fair warning. Now already, a lot of people have probably tuned out of this video. And the whole reading is about, let's not get into the narrative. And I stand by that, okay? And I, I don't feel like a victim. Okay, to be clear, I don't feel like a victim at all. But this was a very uncomfortable situation. And it's a situation that happens. The whole woman thing, I was being sarcastic to just kind of call out what he, you know, wanted to say but wasn't saying. And again, some of you might say, well, that you're just reading into it, whatever. Stop it. Stop it. This man continued to blow his horn. Oh, the other things that I said to try to scare him away, I said, you know, this is live. Because he started walking. I got to go back and look at the footage. But I remember he started taking a couple of steps towards me. And I said, this is live, you know. And it wasn't. It wasn't. I was just trying to scare him off. I'm trying to say, there are witnesses. People are going to see you. Whatever you do next. And he started saying, good, good, I'm glad it's live, live. And then uh, he was blaring his horn. He was tearing out of the parking lot and still screaming. You can hear it on the video. And I yelled, <laughs> I yelled really loud and I said, I got your license plate and I'm giving it to the police. I didn't get his license plate. But um, what was interesting was, again, I was questioning how, where my mind went. If I look like Joey Swall, would he have messed with me? I don't think so. Okay, I don't, I'm, I'm going to guess no. <laughs> but he sees, and could that have been a woman who harassed me? Yeah. Crazy comes in all shapes and sizes and all kind of forms. Okay, it does. I don't feel good about what happened. I don't think he was going to hurt me. Did I have any way of defending myself? Um, let's just say the guy was under the influence of a certain something that I could smell. Like, I could smell it. I don't know. I had bear mace on. <laughs> I wouldn't use that on a human. Um, and I had my gimbal. If I had to, like, whack him with that, I don't, I don't know if that would have done anything. I'm still processing what happened again I'm not in this I'm more like it's not even about a man woman thing for me it, it it does touch on that we can't overlook that okay it's more about why are humans like this to one another if he wanted to just like wave and be silly in the background <laughs> I see you dude okay whatever but he, he just kept it going this man was angry and again I got to look at the footage because there were, there were long stretches of silence where I'm just sort of sitting there. And I'll cut that out because you don't need to see me like, like doing this. <laughs> you know, just seeing what he's going to do next. Um, but he walked down the path and literally was only gone. Again, I'm going to have to look at the footage. But not gone very long before he came back and decided he needed to yell some more and harass me. That's where it started getting harassing. And that's where, again, I'll look at it, but I think that's where um, he started kind of coming my way a little bit, just slightly. And I said, you know, this is life. I'm so disturbed. Like, again, I don't feel like a victim. You know, I always joke that I can't fight, but you better, <laughs> you better believe I'll figure something out. And we were around where people were 
enough that if I screamed or anything like that, if it, if it had escalated, you know, I would hope people wouldn't just uh, stay out of it. You know, maybe they would have helped. The funny part about it was when, when you become a New Yorker, it doesn't leave you readily. No. <laughs> there was a, uh, I, I felt the old New Yorker in me come on up to the service and, you know, I used to deal with stuff like that a few times a day in New York. That's why I moved away. I didn't want this antagonizing, confrontational kind of stuff all the time. So I want your feedback, I guess is what I'm asking for. Um, obviously, if anybody, if you are anti-human rights, um, get out of my face. If you think that people have to agree with you or they're trash, get out of my face and you get away from this community. You are not welcome here. But please know I'm a human being sitting here in front of you. This weird thing happened and I'm like, <laughs> and again, I want to, I want to examine my own conditioning and my own thought process and why did I say the things I did and when and how and oh, was I trying to be tough but not escalate the situation? I don't know what I was doing. It's going to be very interesting to go back and watch that footage. <laughs> so I'll go back through and I'm going to watch it. But I want to hear, and please, please don't do this, I want to be right, let's struggle with each other. I'm not interested in that story. Or Michelle, you pulled the woman card. Or Michelle, you're making too much out of this. Or Michelle, oh my God, you, you, don't do that. Don't. I want intelligent conversation here. I want us all, if you're willing, to look at our conditioned thinking. Even if it is, you know, when, it, when you first start talking about this, I shut down. Or when you first start talking about this, my conditioned brain went to, oh, just ignore it. Because there's a lot of spiritual conditioning too. Um, I believe I already said it, but I'll say it again. I'm not a victim. I'm not feeling like a victim right now rattled ish more annoyed than anything i'm just like fed up i'm fed up <laughs> and if y'all don't know in western astrology i got a lot of scorpio on my chart fed me up and see what happens okay <laughs> that's not gonna be great all right now for the adventure of me going back and watching <laughs> this uncut video Oh, Lord. You know, and then I was all feisty and I'm like, I'm going to stay and I'm going to record. All and then my phone died. I had to come home. <laughs> I, I was trying to be all strong and sit there and be like, no one's going to chase me off. We did have great cards. So make sure you check that out. And I've got all kinds of fun stuff coming up. So that's going to be announced in the beginning of the video. So I do hope that you'll give that a chance. Whatever. But help me process this. Give me, give me your feedback in a respectful, kind way. I wouldn't test me tonight, honey. Do not test me. Oh, look at me. I'm already like yelling at the camera. There ain't even nobody there yet. <laughs> now I'm in a mood, okay? Don't test me in the comments. Don't test me now. You give your opinion respectfully and love it like. And that doesn't mean respectfully you're a big idiot, Michelle. Does that seem like the mood that I'm in? Does that seem like the move that you should make? Probably not. Anyway, okay, so... <laughs> Let me chill my buns. Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and I am out on the trail. Although, I thought it was a good idea to sit here and film, but there's a road right here, so you're gonna hear a little bit of traffic. You might hear a little wind, but it's important that we be outdoors right now to detoxify, get in touch with nature, I hear aggressive squirrels. Last time I sat here, there was a squirrel and she came for me. I'm not, y'all, you might be laughing, but no. I was like, like literally, oh, now there's a bee. What you doing? <sighs> Get. Hi, welcome. <laughs> as long as it's not a mountain lion or a bear, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Anyway, let's talk announcements. If you are seeing this before July 7th of 2022, I am having a live on the Bright platform. Pay attention to this because I have a lot of announcements around this. Good stuff coming. So this next live that I'm going to be doing is more of an educational live. And that's going to be about Archangel Raphael. You can still get a ticket for that for that one session if you want. 
Raphael's all about healing, heart opening, which we need so much right now, abundance, and soulmates. Now, soulmates don't have to be romantic. It's how we connect with one another. So that's going to be July 7th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Tickets available down below. What I'm also going to launch on July 12th is a casual spiritual chat hangout. Those tickets are only 10 bucks. It's not educational. It's all of us just coming together as a community, hanging out with one another, and you know, just during difficult times, being there for one another, okay? Again, links are in the description box, along with Patreon, you get extra content over there, extra readings. Uh, what else do I have? Substack, Gumroad courses, and of course, thank you to everybody who support me in, in all these ways, I really appreciate it. Personal readings are available at angelsouls444.com, my standard readings. There's no appointment to be made or anything like that. I just take care of it and I email it to you, okay? Based on when you are seeing this, the live video readings are not always going to be available, okay? So you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I'll see if I have availability, but that's not a guarantee. That's gonna be a once in a while kind of thing. All right, so really imperative that we get ready to shift out of an old paradigm that's already been happening. But really, every bit of something that's meant to shake us up, to upset us, to get us angry, you know, and to turn against one another, we have to make sure we're not giving into that at all. And we see it already across social media. Everyone's pointing the finger and blaming this group or that group. As I say that group, there's a tour bus going by <laughs> right there. Um, we, we can't be divided. And... If you've got hatred towards a whole group of people, you better work on yourself. I don't care if you think it's justified or not. I'm telling you from a spiritual perspective, there's no room for hate. There's no time. There's no room. And I don't even listen to it anymore. You know, it's like we are in this together. And uh, people who are especially uh, trying to act as if they've been through more than anybody else. And I, ugh, no, we're all going through... <laughs> Uh, a whole thing as a humanity right and it's you know all these things that are there to upset us it's like I say it's and have been saying it's there by design to separate us can't do it can't do it all right let's get some messages here I will say when we come together and we're support for each other and we're coming from that open-hearted space that's why connecting to Archangel Raphael is so important right now and of course with any archangel for that matter, but uh, opening our hearts and realizing that not everybody is our enemy like we've been told. What we have been taught about one another is not exactly correct. Okay, so we have consultant expert, more information is needed, contact someone with expertise in this area. So you might be contacting a therapist if you do have, you know, something that's like you're carrying resentment, hatred, whatever, whatever you might have going on, that might be a therapist. This might also be someone who is helping you with more 3D things. So this could be a real estate agent, this could be, I don't know, a financial planner kind of person, an accountant, but this also has <laughs> a very deep spiritual meaning here. And tune into your guides, tune into your guides. And it cracks me up again, I watch on social media where people are like, my guides say the world's falling apart and we're all going, not a guide okay they are tapping into fourth dimensional probably astral plane lower frequency beings that maybe are trying to help but that's not your guide your angels and your guides are loving they're going to give it to you straight but they're not going to scare you okay so we have blessed change a major life change brings you great blessings so this begins by again disconnecting from any sort of narrative that tells you everyone's an enemy or that you can't do something you know that's another one you're, you're starting to have that internal shift of yes I am talented enough to do this yes I can handle this that's a big one yes I can you know when I, I the weather is perfect today and I'm like oh I want to be outside can I film outside well I don't like filming outside because people look at me it's all good so we're, we're getting out of this I can't mindset or anything that's been blocking you again it could be fear fear of other people um hatred towards other people that's not to say you know don't fight for justice of course but realize you have more friends than you do enemies 
I mean, all of our hearts need to be open and we need to realize that we have been very much trained to hate one another and it's just not okay. Just not okay. All right. So I'm trying to, I don't like bringing cards out here. It's not so, so windy today, but it gets windy here. So <laughs> you might hear that in the microphone too, but cards could blow away. The creek is dry. There's a creek right here. There's nothing going on over there. So it's not like they're going to fall into that, I guess. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we're good. We're good. As soon as we realize the power of our energy, we ain't messing. We're not messing around. Okay, make a wish. <laughs> this is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So again, we can't, I've said this for forever. Like you can't wait for things outside of you to change before you change within you, before you feel okay within you. We need to manifest the change that we want. And if you look in the reflection there, that's a horse and a girl. Okay, and then on the flip side, there's a unicorn and a mermaid. So which reality do you want to live in? Which thing do you want to create? Essentially getting our power back and realizing our power. Okay. Dream big. We're going to have airplanes too. Ambiance, right? My God. Dream big. <laughs> Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. But in a grander sense, this would be things opening up. And again, it's all about us realizing our creative life force, our creative power. Uh, I just did a whole session on Archangel Gabriel, who is all about making sure your um, sacral chakra is in good form again that's where you hold your emotions that's where everything kind of gets cluttered up and then you're not creating and then you're pointing the finger at everybody else and saying it's because of that person or this situation or that company or whatever and listen hey yo like yeah I mean companies are doing bad things but do you have to give into their narrative no by the way I do want to remind everybody that I will be going dark uh, July 3rd through the 5th so what does that mean it means I'm not going to be posting on social media being quite on social media, obviously I'm not going to be shopping any sort of big anything. But please do not punish, if you're seeing this before those dates, please don't punish small businesses. If you do need something, purchase from them. Uh, and also, you know, my business is an emotional support business. So <laughs> there's somebody who thinks they're funny. Um, my, and it smells like all over here. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be going dark. And so my business is an emotional support business. Hi, you need Hi. something? I'm just hanging out. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Public park. Yeah, I know that, but right. you don't have to stand there and be ridiculous. Be mad. I'm not mad. I mean, you sound like it. I, I think you're funny. Cool. Yeah, you enjoy. You enjoy that. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, my business is a, an emotional support business. So I'm not going to withdraw things that bring people support, you know? So what I'm going to do is have all the dailies daily inspiration cards that I do post those a little bit early you can pick and choose which ones you know you want to see but I won't be posting on those exact days make sense all right so let's get a color card and let's see what's going on the guy that was waving in the background I don't think he expected me to turn around as soon as I turned around he took off and then he was running his mouth as he was walking away here he comes back but we'll see. <laughs> he might continue to harass me here. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to be ridiculous. Didn't mean to be ridiculous. I'll stop eventually. Yeah? Didn't mean to be ridiculous. This is live, by the way. It's cool. It's great. Even better. Okay. Didn't mean to be ridiculous. Or harass? You didn't mean to do that? No, I mean, I'm just hanging out. It's a public park. It sure is. So this is where I'm saying, he was saying, oh, you're such a victim. And I said, what, as a woman? Yeah, such a victim or something like that. Um, being sarcastic. But you can see, um, I'm shifting my body to keep, keep eyes on him. 
to make sure he's walking away. Course, but harassment is I'm not legal. You how play the victim card. Oh, oh, is that what I'm doing? It's a woman? You're is that so what I'm mad. doing? No, that's playing the victim. It's a public park. You're so mad. It's a public park. <laughs> so oh, you poor thing. Aww. Clap harder, lady. So let's get a color card. There's a guy, see, this is why I don't film out here, guys. That guy has been back and forth harassing. And he's uh, on a substance. <laughs> yeah. Very, like, trying to intimidate. All right, anyway, so let's, oh, there it is. Rainbow. See, we don't need to worry. There you go. Rainbow, connect to spirit in nature. And that's what we're doing out here. And even though there's, like, ugh, a creepy guy who kept harassing me I may or may not put that at the end but he was going by and really trying to freak me out and then when I called him out on it he was like oh you're playing the victim and all that so oh uh, you know but again here's here's like this rainbow thing that kind of thing I, th I think that's exactly the type of thing that goes on no reason for that guy to stand behind me and harass and do whatever he could have just kept on doing his thing but he left and came back and started yelling at me even more. So as you see, we're gonna keep on. We're not going to let other people's, whatever he's got going on to intimidate us. I'm not packing up and going anywhere. <laughs> we're not doing any of that. We are going to be embracing these blessings. Embrace it. <laughs> I didn't get his license plate. Okay, so the guy that was walking behind me has now harassed me three times. He went out blaring his horn. For what reason? That, I'm glad that happened. I'm probably not going to put that in here because it's very upsetting and I don't want anybody to be upset. But he was full on trying to intimidate me. Full on, like harassment is, is the word, okay? And even as I'm sitting here trying to film, he had to blow his horn as he was going out. And I yelled out that I got his license plate and it was going to the police. I didn't I totally didn't but <laughs> I said it was going to the police and he hurried up and took off down the road but that I, I'm glad that that happened because that is exactly the kind of thing that people are trying to do they're trying to have power over one another they're harassing they're on edge like that guy he didn't seem like he was okay I don't know what his problem was but um, was definitely on a substance let's say I could smell it as he was going by but anyway and here we are rainbow stand strong stand strong all the blessings are coming in and this says connect to spirit in nature so it's funny how like even just observing that he he kept coming back and forth behind me as you guys you'll probably see i'll leave a little bit in there where he's waving in the background and then he went off deeper into the trail and then came back to stand there and start yelling just to interrupt the video that's all he was doing was trying to interrupt what i'm doing and then he goes on to his car, as I was saying, and starts blaring his horn and screaming out the window. See? Okay. So I am by myself. I'm a single woman out here by myself. You can think whatever you want. You can go la 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 la. I don't want to hear this. We're in very, very troubled times. And a man who was not in his right mind saw me sitting here by myself I don't think he would have done that if I were with other people comment down below I would love to hear your thoughts on that but again it was pretty funny when I said I've got your license plate and it's going to the police <laughs> he took off down the road so that's I mean that's just what we're dealing with here that's exactly it is he gonna rattle me I'm gonna be doing some of the daily inspiration cards here now and I might go for a hike and I hope you all stand strong as well because that what happened there is a perfect example of, I'm going to say it, dark energy working through people. Dark energy working through people. That man, I tried to ignore him, and he stood there until I turned around and said, can I do anything for you? Do you need something? And then he starts saying, it's a public park. I can do whatever I want. And I said, you don't have the right to be ridiculous towards other human beings. It's absolutely a public park. You can walk through here, of course but I'm taking up this space right now. You don't need to be right over my shoulder. Now you may disagree and say he had every right to stand there. I don't really care. 
he became a harassing figure. He wanted to pick a fight with me. Why am I going into this? If that, we could not ask for a better illustration, as I've said, of the kinds of energy that are going around. Now, if I hadn't had my camera up, he started walking kind of close to me until I told him, I said, this is live. It's not live, but I told him this is live. Everyone's watching you right now. Then he backed up. Tell me about women being safe. Tell me. I'm okay. If I had to fight him, y'all don't know this about me. If I had to fight him, I could fight. I make jokes that I can't throw a punch, but that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. I will protect myself at all costs. But um, let me know if you want to see the footage from that. Let me know. It was just interesting. Just very, very interesting. So let's leave it there. Again, check out all the stuff that I was already telling you guys about. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Today, I'm going to seriously look up what's legal here in Colorado as far as like pepper spray or something non-lethal, you know, um, some sort of self-defense something uh, that, that I can get a hold of and carry with me. Please be kind. I know I'm I'm upset, but not like I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm not angry at him. I'm angry that people function like that. Um, irritated, aggravated. It, it's sort of like, well, that that was meant to wake me up in some way. Maybe to uh, make sure I'm more protected. Again, this guy was just goofy weirdo like whatever but what if the next guy isn't or next woman for that matter <sighs> let me know let me know again I'm still processing after I get this all edited and put up I I might regret having put it up <laughs> I don't know let me get on to the dailies all right I love you guys thank you so much for being here thank you if you watched all of this um I do appreciate it and if you think it's a valuable lesson I don't even care whether you share the video. Just talk to other people. I don't care if I get more views off of this. Just, you know, again, because my body looks really huge and my head looks shrunken. It's weird. <laughs> but because <laughs> I, I was watching, I'm like, <laughs> what is wrong? What is that? <laughs> but at least have the conversation with other people. And let's make it safe for us to talk about things like this without being called oversensitive, being a big baby, get over it. Um, especially if you're a woman or especially just anybody who might be a target right now. Talk to them. Talk to them. This was not a big deal. Well, it was a big enough deal that I'm talking about it, but uh, what if I just got lucky this time? I don't want to think about that. I don't. But I don't think it does any good to bury our heads in the sand. It's not going to do anything. Let me know. Again, I love you guys and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>